Hi babe, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Khadija and I'm going to walk you through my holy grail products of 2023. Coming up at number one, my holy grail product of 2023 has to be this baby right here. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. Just realized I had it upside down. You guys, okay, so I'm the type of girl like I will not just change up my makeup products like one thing about me i am loyal so when i find a product that i love i absolutely stick to it and charlotte tilbury ever since i discovered her she changed my freaking life like i use this flawless finish on literally my under eye i use it all over my face if necessary like literally i'll use it without concealer i'll use it with concealer she's just so good and she truly like sets my makeup in place and just lets it be what it needs to be like i will take a little fluffy brush and just pack it on and one thing about this powder that i will say it literally won't even look like you're caking anything on like it'll just just make you just look so good and so glamorous and so smooth and so set and I just can't say any more great things about this product like I will literally down a hill about this product like I love it so honestly I rated a 10 like I don't know it's just me like I just love it but and this is in shade three it also it comes in four shades i believe um i don't know the other shade names but then after three tan there's four deep and four deep i did have four deep but one thing about me like i use the three tan pretty much in like my high points of my face like my t-zone area and under my eyes and then the four deep when i was using that i used it in the other areas not the high points um and it just kind of helped it just was how I like to do my makeup. Everybody does their makeup a little bit differently, but I loved it. If you get your hands um, on it, let me know your thoughts because mwah, 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 mwah. love it. Patrick Ta. This is not in any specific order, you guys. I was a stan of the Patrick Ta Duo palette all year this is the name she's chiseled i'm acting like i don't know but this is in shade she's chiseled and pretty much this is like a duo set so it has the bottom powder top if you lift it which i think is so smart that he covered it is cream so what i'll do is go in with the cream right carving out my face i'm carving out my face and then i'll set it with the bronzer at the bottom and i just love it because who doesn't love a good cream contour and a bronzer one thing about me i've always been a contour bronzer girl like ever since i can remember in high school i started contouring and you know obviously it's like makeup is already expensive having contour having bronzer okay i was like okay well which bronzer should i buy blah 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 patrick Haas said nope did it mm. putting both in one it's a bang for your buck and um I just think everybody should try it out like just 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 try it out and I don't want you guys to think that every single product is um like high-end because every single product is not but I will say Patrick Ta did his thing and he ate with that one wait I need a sip of water you guys I'm drinking out of a plastic bottle don't judge me Coming up at number three, like I said, not in a specific order, so hopefully I don't have to say it again, the Palf Grip Primer Elf. So at first I truly wasn't sure how I felt about this primer, um, but she grew on me. Hear me out, because I've been an elf girly since I can remember. Literally my first products were elf because one, they were like the only thing I could afford when I was, how old was I? 13. There was like literally the only thing i could afford so i was like oh like elf and i stayed using her and still very much loyal to this day i think this product retails for six dollars i believe and one thing about it i will say i would probably rate it like 
a seven or eight only because I feel like for this product, let's say your skin is dry, which your skin should never be dry before you're applying your makeup. You should always have a great like skin regimen before even going in with your makeup. But you need to keep in mind, some people, everybody doesn't want to be super hydrated. For me, I love to be super hydrated for my makeup so that it just goes on and just feels like the best, like clean skin, all of that. But I feel like you need a good moisturizer on before you put this on because I do feel like the application just feels a little bit weird. And I apply it with my hands, but I do feel like it's kind of a little bit difficult to rub in. But I also, that's the point. It is like sticky where the makeup does really grip onto the primer. But I feel like you just have to make sure that you are spreading it evenly amongst your face because it is a very thick product. But I still love it. Like it's still one of the primers that I did lean towards more this year because I loved how my makeup always sat when I had it on. So I would say my rating's like a 7, 7.5 for sure. Um, definitely one of my favorites though. I feel like e.l.f. definitely like continue to make like a great, like they continue to make great products. Like they always have been a really good like staple, staple especially for affordable makeup girlies. And I feel like makeup girlies like don't ever forget like who had your back we only had like a couple down to see your name but you still want to have a cute beat elf elf is gonna like you can never disappoint elf like i love you so for foundation you guys this is also very much drugstore um but i have sworn by this foundation and i will swear by this foundation until the end of time in my personal opinion, one of the best drugstore makeup, one of the best drugstore makeup products, that's a tongue twister, one of the best drugstore makeup products I could ever truly buy and it will always be worth it is the Maybelline Matte Fit Me Foundation. Literally, I have bought this year after year after year after year after year. I think that this product can do no wrong. Like, I truly think she's a doll. She's amazing. She's loyal. She's honorable. Oh my God, she smells good. No, but seriously, like, one of the best foundations. Like, I just feel like my color, this isn't my exact color, by the way. I have this in multiple shades. But I feel like for color, it always does me so well. Um, the I love how like matte it really sits sometimes like I if you guys have watched my other videos I will mix this with other foundations just to you know kind of get like a duo because everything like you can play around with your makeup but I really do love the Maybelline fit me I just think like she's a doll she always has been and always will and it really is like a medium to full coverage foundation and it truly is buildable and if you, depending on how you conceal, like your makeup will sit, like I will use Maybelline Matte Fit Me on a good night, like on a great night, a night that I'm trying to step, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like especially drugstore products, like they really are truly like the real underdog of the beauty community because there is nothing like having an affordable product that really like, can help you show your true beauty. I do feel like with Maybelline Matte Fit Me, I've never felt like I've had too much on. I've never felt like my makeup was just like dragging down my face. I always felt like it really gave me that true beautiful glow that I like. And also the shade range is like unmatchable. I do feel like Maybelline Matte Fit Me, it has so many different shades for black women. Like I've never once been to the drugstore and been like, damn, they don't have my shade here you know and that does definitely say something and obviously Maybelline like they do what they gotta do so that is just something I appreciate because over time and over the years it really like there are some brands like yeah they have like great products like that's what I hear but they don't have like our shades and obviously now like brands are so much more inclusive but to really be like yeah like I appreciate you still in 2023 like Maybelline like I love y'all so y'all will I will never leave Maybelline side like, literally I love them this product definitely did everything I need to do this year 
and I appreciate her. She held me down when no one else could. <laughs> okay, we're getting crazy. The Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, you guys. I was really loving this. Like, it has, first of all, it has the brush, the, the brush application that I love. And I feel like this glue, and this is, it says clear. This glue actually, like, it didn't disappoint one thing about it though i will say like you have to you know you really gotta make sure you get on that whole lash band and i know a lot of girlies they got their lashes done now and i just can't relate to that but for me like for one of the girls who still use the strips from time to time i don't got no strips on right now ask one of the girlies who wears strip lashes i feel like it's always good to have this Hanging around, laying in your purse. I mean, Kiss is just also one of those brands like you can never go wrong. And yeah, Supreme. Supreme. I love her. I love her. I love her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Who are we? We are Okay, no, for real. All right, Maybelline, this one, sorry, I got I got it dirty. Bringing back another Maybelline product. You guys, the Cheeky, this is in shade Cheeky 35. This is the Maybelline, I think this is Maybelline Superstay. But this whole like Maybelline thing with lips, I actually was a fan this year. Like, I haven't seen anybody really talking about them, but I actually like them. Like, I, I can't say that every single color and every single thing that Maybelline has been dropping, like lip wise, has been like an all time favorite. But the Maybelline Lifter, I like the clear gloss, I use the color gloss. Like, I don't know, I guess just in my drugstore, maybe they just really push Maybelline. But I really was like, okay, like, let me get, let me get one or two of these. Like, I definitely love these this year. Like, I was using them a lot. And I know everybody else was pushing all these other brands. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, y'all know. Girls love, girls love having multiple, like, lip stuff. Like, I feel like as women, we can't have enough lip gloss. Like, what? But I feel like for, like, a color and a pop, I definitely was gravitating towards, like, a brown liner. And then, like, the Maybelline Lip Lifter. Um, the Maybelline Lip Superstay. They definitely held me down. And I'm not, I'm not mad at it, baby girl. I am not mad at it. Oh my gosh, I love this question. No, this is actually my favorite part. Okay, so this brush, blush brush. It's called a blush brush from Real Techniques. First of all, you guys, I never use this for blush. I use this for my bronzer. And that could be wrong. That could be wrong. But I love this brush for my bronzer. I do. And this is, I guess, the brush 400. I don't know. Maybe I had it for like, I feel like I've had this for like two years. But I love this brush and she's so pretty and she's pink. And I just feel like it's perfect for a little bronzing moment. To cover my forehead and my chin. My face I just love her and real techniques another drugstore brand like baby girl I stay repping I love I love real techniques yeah they definitely have some of my favorite brushes for sure absolutely absolutely wait one second. Drake says she held it down so she got a Mercedes She held it down. So she got her Mercedes. Like, okay. This gummy edge control is 100%. Oh my God. And she smells so good. Yeah. She smells like, like a strawberry gummy. Y'all know them fruit snacks? She held these edges down. Not all year long, cause I recently just restocked on her. But she held it down the second half of the year. And I will, I will say, 
I appreciate him for that. And one thing about gummy, so I got this off at Amazon. This is the gummy styling wax ultra hope. But I heard about it on Aaliyah's face channel. And one thing about that gummy, it's gonna like it's gonna hold your edges down how you need to, but it's not gonna make them like rough or white ever. It's not gonna like change like your hair. It's really going to like it's really going to like hold it like just hold it how it needs to so i love that this was a newer product i actually implemented in 2023 but just because i didn't have it in the beginning doesn't mean it's not worth the mention this versed day dissolve cleansing balm was actually one of my favorite products like you guys sorry my hands a little ashy but you guys like i be digging in there and it's so good it has a bunch of like oils in there and it also smells so lovely but pretty much i'll just take like a scoop rub it on my hands and like slather it all like on my face to get like all of this off product is definitely one of my favorite products and it's definitely for all skin types like they know exactly and it says you only need a dime baby i'll be taking my whole finger and just going to town and then i will take like my cellar water or like like theirs and i'll just like wipe off like whatever is left and then i'll go in my cleanser and like start to really cleanse again in there because i just i just don't want to like you know like use like um what is it you know like what is it called like stop using the damn wipes like no more wipes ladies like like don't use the wipes if you don't have to like it's really no point like if you need to have wipes with you like okay but like let's get out of buying the Neutrogena wipes because it's like harming our skin so first love you illy okay and last but certainly not least is my perfume that I got I'm actually almost out so I need to go to the store very soon but the Tom Tom Ford cafe rose I just think that this is just the most darling scent on me and I've been looking for a signature scent and I just love how this smells on me I just feel like she's Gorgiana I really do love her like I like sat down or I didn't really sit down I'm lying. I'm lying already like why are you lying I went to the store and um, there was a woman there and she was like okay we're gonna find you a lovely perfume that really compliments you and i actually went to the tom ford counter specifically but like we went through like every single fragrance and like smelled everything and really like took our time and like we really like she like helped me like compare like notes and this and that and like asked me so many questions about how i wanted to smell and like i was like ah i love this like cafe rose smells very like feminine and still very like i would say like a powerful woman but like sexy and just like also like delicate like can you be delicate and powerful at the same time i think so and i feel like that's how i would describe this perfume like it just smells so good and it's in a pink bottle she actually did tell me that they had changed the packaging where it wasn't pink anymore but i just feel like this pink bottle is just like gorgeous so i've been loving that and i feel like every like beautiful confident like smart powerful woman that i know especially like in my family like they all have like a signature scent and it just literally like it just is so like cool to me like i remember i lived at my grandma's house i mean i didn't live at my grandma's house i remember when i used to stay at my grandma's house like damn near every weekend or every other weekend when i lived in jersey and my grandma always smelled exactly the same and even to this day like when i visited her for Christmas she smelled exactly the same and I was just like yeah like that like my grandma has a smell but she always smelled so good and she always just like she was just always so like put together and just had like her scent and like had her like lipstick she wore and like her nail polish and like her makeup like she was just such a lady and when I found this fragrance like I was like okay like this just makes me feel like a lady like a woman like it makes me feel like I'm embodying like that like 
beautiful, strong like, woman that my grandma is. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked my 2023 beauty favorites. I feel like I kept it short and concise, but honestly, that is everything that I truly love this year. And hopefully I'm not leaving anything out, but if you guys want a part two or maybe we can do one in like the next couple months. I would love to do that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for staying tuned into my video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe down below with that red button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.